from bobcats and lynx to anteaters, aardvarks and pangolins. Here are 16 pairs of commonly mistaken animals. 16. Hares and Rabbits Now They resemble each other greatly, so it's not surprising that the critters belong to the same order of mammals. But hares tend to grow larger than rabbits and have stronger legs and larger feet, and that's a reason why they tend to outrun their predators, while rabbits will usually escape to the warrens when threatened. Did you know that hares are often called jackrabbits? 15. Llamas and Apacas both animals are even-toed ungulates from South America that belong to the same family. But the llama is considerably larger than the alpaca, with adults weighing more than 400 pounds, while the cousins weigh around 175 or so. But despite the size differential, alpacas produce far more fleece, having been bred over ages to produce the fiber. Llamas are often more used for transport, and the two species can often be seen together since llamas are often used as a type of guard for livestock. 14. Salamanders and Lizards While most of the creatures on the list that resemble one another belong to the same species, such is not the case here. Salamanders are amphibians, while lizards are reptiles, yet they are often mistaken for the other. But a key difference is, salamanders will stay near the water, while lizards can be found in various climates, including those that are hot and arid. Lizards have longer toes than salamanders and bodies that are scaly. Salamanders are smooth-skinned and typically will not grow as large as lizards. After all, the largest extant lizard is the Komodo dragon at 10 feet long and around 150 pounds, versus the Chinese giant salamander, the world's largest amphibian. It goes about 6 feet long and can weigh up to 100 pounds. Who do you think wins that one? 13. Oddvox and Anteaters They are both mammals with long snouts and an appetite for ants, and both of the names start with the letter A, yet they do belong to different species. Experts say the seemingly superficial similarities derive from convergent evolution. Anteaters are found in South America, while aardvarks are native to Africa, where they are sometimes called the ant bear. Both aardvarks and anteaters use the claws for digging, but the latter has especially large curved foreclaws used to attack anthills, or for self-defense. Did you know that another critter often confused with anteaters is the pangolin? In fact, they're often called the scaly anteater, but experts say those aren't 12. Donkeys and Mules The confusion between these two critters kind of makes sense because a mule is actually part donkey. They're the result of breeding a male donkey, or jack, with a female horse, or mare. Mules often resemble horses with larger bodies than donkeys, along with their tail, teeth, and coats. While donkeys are noted for their stubbornness, which is largely rooted in a strong sense of self-preservation, mules are said to be more patient, stronger, and more intelligent than donkeys or horses for that matter. The biggest difference between the two animals is the matter of sterility. Mules cannot reproduce, although some experts do claim that fertility is possible. 11. Possums and Opossums the two terms are often used interchangeably for these marsupials, but there is a difference between possums and opossums, the two different animals. In North America, they are identified as opossums and are the only marsupials found there. Now, in Australia, they're called possums and are one of many marsupials found down under. So, how do the Aussie and the Yank versions differ? Possums are generally considered less scary looking than their American cousins. Their eyes and ears are larger, and they have furry tails as opposed to opossums, which have naked prehensile tails. Did you know that when Europeans first encountered opossums in North America, they were described as a combination of a pig, a cat, and a rat? 10. Frogs and Toads these amphibians are commonly mistaken for each other, so what are the differences between the two? Well, toad is actually a name for certain frogs. It seems that the distinction is one more rooted in pop culture than in scientific taxonomy. In general, it has been noted that toads have skin that is drier, thicker, and have large bumps, which are sometimes called warts. Frogs have skin that is smooth and wet, giving them kind of a slimy appearance. And they can really jump, whereas toads hop due to the shorter legs, which are not as strong. While frogs are more associated with a more aquatic habitat, toads do not need to stay near the water to survive. 
9. Tortoises and Turtles Now there's an easy way to remember which is which between these two reptiles. Turtles will spend most of the time in the water, while tortoises are land dwellers. Where sea turtles have fins, tortoises have stumps for legs and feet that are unwebbed. They often dig burrows and hot, dry habitats. And while they both have shells, those of the turtle tend to be flat and more streamlined, while tortoise shells are more dome-shaped and heavier. Of course, there's the size differential. Tortoises can weigh 100 pounds or greater, depending on the species, and the big lumbering reptiles are known to live a long time, more than 150 years in some cases, or longer. Turtles, meanwhile, are thought to live for upwards of 40 years or so. 8. Seals and Sea Lions Now they're both pinnipeds, which is to say they are fin-footed marine mammals. And a big difference in the animals can be found in the fins or flippers. Sea lions have flippers that are larger and covered with skin. They are strong and flexible, allowing the animal to travel over the land. They can essentially walk on all fours. The flippers of seals are usually shorter, forcing the critter to crawl on its belly to get around. They also lack external ears, while sea lions have external ear flaps. And the socialization differs as well. Seals tend to be loners that stay in the water, but sea lions are known to gather in groups as large as 1,500 individuals getting noisy and barking at each other. Which would you rather be? 7. Dolphins and Porpoises They're both cetaceans and are warm-blooded, air-breathing mammals that give birth to live offspring. Physically, there is a strong resemblance between the two species, but the body shapes of the two animals differ in that porpoises tend to be chunkier with rounded faces. Dolphins have a more slender build with pointed faces and curved dorsal fins, and dolphins greatly outnumber the cousins with more than 30 species documented, including bottlenose dolphins and even orcas or killer whales. In contrast, there are only six extant species of porpoises, including the vaquita, which is in danger of going extinct. 6. Leopards and Jaguars Well, it's kind of a case of seeing spots when you look at these two big felids. They share a spotted patterning on the coats. But there are several key differences between the two, including the size. The jaguar is the third largest cat species after the tiger and the lion, and has the third strongest bite force of all felids. And the two animals are native to distinctively different parts of the world. Jaguars are found in the Americas, while leopards are native to areas of Africa and Asia. And while looking at the two makes you see a lot of spots, as noted, their rosettes are different. Those of the jaguar are larger and have central spots. Now here's an interesting commonality. When either species displays 5. Spiders and Insects Do you ever catch yourself calling spiders insects? Of course, spiders are arachnids, and arachnids have eight legs, while insects have six legs. Insects will also usually have wings and antenna, whereas spiders do not. Spiders can have eight eyes in addition to the eight legs, and have bodies composed of two parts, a combined head and thorax and abdomen, while insects have three parts to their bodies, head, thorax, and abdomen. Spiders and insects do have a few things in common no, both are invertebrates and both are arthropods. 4. Bobcats and Canadian Lynx Bobcats are a species of North American cat that is known as a predator that's able to adapt to many different habitats. For the record, the name is a reference to the tail, which is stubby or bobbed. Ranging from Canada to Mexico, it can make itself home in wooded areas, as well as semi-desert, swampland, urban edge, and forest edge environments. More than twice the size of the domestic cat, wild bobcats greatly resemble the Canadian lynx, with which it shares a portion of its range. They do look nearly identical, except the lynx is a slightly larger animal. So how do you tell the difference? Well, bobcats and the Canadian lynx are separate species, but belong to the same genus, the lynx genus. There are four species overall in that genus, with the Eurasian lynx and the Spanish lynx rounding out the quartet. The lynx usually has shaggy fur around its face, and larger, black tufted ears that can grow about an inch long and provide acute hearing. They also have longer legs and larger feet than the cousins. But the bobcat separates itself when it comes to sheer attitude. The wildcat is known for having a bold manner and a fierce hunting style. 
3. Apes and Monkeys Now, there are many ways to discern the differences between these two species, but maybe the quickest and easiest manner is to look for a tail. If the critter does not have a tail, it's an ape. If it does have a tail, then it's a monkey, although there are a few species that do not display that appendage. Overall, monkeys tend to be smaller and run along tree branches, as opposed to apes who will swing from branch to branch. Apes tend to display more advanced cognitive skills than do monkeys and can communicate with humans through sign language, in addition to displaying human-like behaviors like making simple tools. And in terms of genetic similarities, apes are much closer to humans than are monkeys. Common chimpanzees, for example, have a genetic makeup that is nearly identical to ours. While monkey species include baboons and macaques, ape species include gorillas, 2. African and Asian Elephants While they are two of the largest terrestrial mammals extant today, only one is the largest, and that would be the African Bush Elephant, which can weigh more than 13,000 pounds, and the height can exceed 13 feet at the shoulder. The Asian variety weighs around 8,800 pounds on average and stands about 9 feet tall at the shoulder. But apart from the size, there are other ways to tell the two pachyderms apart. Asian elephants have two humps on the heads, while the cousins are smooth-headed. Their trunks differ in that the African variety has two finger-like features that help them to grab leaves and branches. Asian elephants have one such feature they use to grab food and then squeeze it into the mouths. And even though they appear more alike than different, African and Asian elephants cannot be interbred. One. Alligators and crocodiles. Now, it's understandable that these two reptiles can be mixed up with one another. They both belong to the same order of crocodilia, which also includes caimans. So, while the two large reptiles do resemble each other, some of the differences include their tolerance for salt water. Crocs have special glands that help them to expel excess salt and stay comfortable in such environments. Now, without such fully developed glands in alligators, they tend to favor freshwater habitats. The heads of crocodiles have a longer V-shape, while alligators have a rounded snout in a U-shape. Also, crocs tend to be more aggressive than alligators, and in the wild, they can be found in many parts of the world. Their gator cousins, however, are native only to the United States and China.